And uh, I'm really excited to continue to make this case to the American people, not just in July in Detroit, but also in September in Houston and in October at the DNC debates through the fall. So I'd love to take some questions from you all. I appreciate your being here today. I also appreciate the person who brought his bubble tea. I don't know how people knew it was my favorite. Yes, thank you. This is uh, the, the drink of presidential hopefuls. Uh, actually, only this one. I'm pretty sure I'm the only presidential hopeful that likes bubble tea. Okay, like we said before, when I call your name, I'm gonna ask you to unmute yourself and ask your question. Um, and after you're done asking your question, I'll ask you to mute yourself again. I will start with uh, Vendana Kumar. Thank you, Vandana. I'm running for president because I spent the last seven years working on creating thousands of jobs throughout Ohio, Michigan, Alabama, and other U.S. states. And I realized that my work was like pouring water into a bathtub that has a giant hole ripped in the bottom. Any job that my organization was creating was being unfortunately met by dozens or hundreds of jobs that were going to disappear in many of these communities. And there's no appetite for talking about this set of issues in Washington. I visited Washington and no one there wants anything to do with our transforming economy, in large part because they know they don't have any satisfactory responses or policies. The most popular talking point out of Washington will be that we need to educate and retrain American workers for the new jobs of the future. Unfortunately, the data shows that the retraining programs do not work. Their success rates are only zero to 15%. And the data also shows very clearly that more Amer American workers are already struggling and falling behind, where you have record levels of disability, multi-decade low labor force participation rate, and social ills that are mounting to the point where suicides and drug overdoses have now overtaken vehicle deaths for the first time in American history to the point where America's life expectancy has declined now for the last three years. So the combination of my certainty about the magnitude of the challenges and the ongoing technological displacement and my conviction that no one in Washington wanted anything to do with this led me to run for president. And I'm running for president as an act of patriotism. I'm confident that I can let the American people know that it is not immigrants that are causing economic problems. It is technology and automation. In terms of my breakout moment, I would say that uh, the biggest catalyst my campaign experienced was going on uh, a show with an interviewer named Joe Rogan. And if you look at YouTube, that conversation has been viewed 3.3 million times just on YouTube. And most people consume that conversation as an audio recording on a podcast. And so the listenership was probably closer to 10 million that took place in February.